Hello and welcome to our first full Halloween experience of the year. Now we're not including um, Fright Nights in this from Fort Park, this is our first farm Halloween and it's from The Howl. And it, when we did our show, it wasn't one we were expecting to come to, however we decided um, that we would. And we've never been, we've never been, there's five haunts here, hold on, because we did very little research on this. We have a Topless Twister, that's a clown maze, uh, a hotel maze, a house of hounds, a squellers yard and the shed. So there's five mazes in which we need to take in. And it's very, it's very compact. I mean, we've got in here and we can pretty much see all five mazes from one location. So it's all quite close, but it does look very nice. Um, run by Tully, it's much like the screen park down in Crawley. This one's much further up. Um, the country is sort of closer to Milton Keynes, so it's in a complete different direction. As you walk around here, I mean, you can see sort of animals. Um, See all the rabbits, and you can see the goat. The goat's having a whale of a time. Let's go have a look at the goat. The goat wants to know what's going on. We all want to know what's going on. It's just gone half past six, so we've been allowed into the area. Um, at this current time, the mazes don't open till seven. It's not that busy. It is absolutely peeing it down with rain, which is just typical, but we put good wear on today so we've got a waterproof coat and hopefully all will go well um, we are looking forward to it we love a good scream and we love a good Halloween event and we love to be scared however thus far we've not been particularly scared so it'll be really interesting to see what happens we're not really sure where we're going to start we think that the mazes particularly have a lot of outdoor aspects so we want to make sure it's dark before we go in them we've made the mistake before where we thought one has been and one hasn't been and we've gone in we're really disappointed so we definitely want to make sure today that we wait till it starts. So although they open at seven, because we're really unsure on the event and we're unsure about everything, we probably won't start going in until half past seven when it starts. If we turn around now, you can probably see there is a little bit of light. So it's definitely not time to go in there yet, but we are looking forward to it. We obviously can't film in the mazes and we won't film in the mazes because we've been asked not to. So we will do a review before we go in, let you know which one we're going in. And as soon as we come out, give you our thoughts exactly at the time so we don't forget anything. We're gonna start with the least tame one. We think that's the clown one. You know how I feel about clown mates. Generally, they're rubbish. Um, however, we have high expectations. We have high expectations because it's all new here. So we can't wait. As soon as we know which one we're going in, we will let you know. Do our guys want to hear a joke? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are y'all ready? Get ready for this. This one's real good because I got told this by my friend Jimmy, and Jimmy just yesterday told me it. I thought it was really funny. I couldn't stop laughing. I thought it was so funny. I was like, whoa, I had stitches in my stomach. You know what? <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, here's your joke. <laughs> what did the sick dog mean? Oh, a doctor. <laughs> Sisters, princess, and precious. Hi, I'm princess.
Nice, boy. Right, so that was the opening ceremony uh, as its first day here at the park. Now, uh, the house certainly didn't have to put on a show. I mean, that was absolutely fantastic. You look back on the highlights, you see all the um, kind of the scare actors come out um, from every maze and they, they intermingle, as you've probably seen. They come close, they interact with you. Brilliant. Best opening ceremony we've been to for a scare park. Absolutely fantastic. Now, we start with Mr. Topper here. This is the expert to Mr. Topper, just on the right hand side here. That gives the exact reaction of how most people are doing. It is another clown maze, but I have to say, my expectations of clown mazes have been really, really high so far. And this one has been absolutely brilliant as well. Um, I might have to change my stance on them, you know. They're still not very scary, don't get me wrong, but just brilliant. And the tunnel, the spinning tunnel in there, they spin so fast. I don't know how the actors work in there. I certainly don't know how the hell I was standing up in there because it was terrifying, absolutely terrifying trying to stand on my feet going through it. Real fun maze, some enclosed spaces, lots of like people jumping out of you, lots of color, lots of light, few strobe, bit of smoke, really, really good. So now we're gonna move on to the squealer's yard and see what that one's like. Right, so, so we moved on. We moved on to Squealer's Yard and then we moved on to the shed. Now we'll actually start with the shed because the shed was okay. Um, it looked really good inside. It kind of reminded me of a shed. So you walk through, there's um, kind of a lot of wooden slats around. There's a lot of kind of uh, junk in there, shall we say. Uh, kind of ends with a tractor and a chainsaw. Um, you know, there's a bit of indoors, there's a bit of outdoors, there's a bit of strobe lights. There's a lot of actors, there's a lot of them banging. There's a lot of them jumping out of kind of hidden cubby holes. Um, kind of, it is literally like a derelict sort of shed in there, uh, which is absolutely fine. It wasn't terrifying by any means, but it did look good. And there was a few jumpy moments for many people, not myself, 
but a few jumpy moments from many people in there. Now then, we'll go back now and we'll go back to the squealage yard where possibly the most um, terrifying maze I've experienced in a long, long time. Um, what happened was there was seven of us that went in and they kind of separate one person, that happened to be me, to take a completely different route to the others. Now, while you do join the same route again, um, you're put ahead quite far in advance. So I was probably about 30 to 45 seconds ahead of the other of the rest of the group. So it literally, I did the whole maze by myself. And I have to say, it's very, very dark in there. Um, you know, it's a bit like a chop shop. It's a bit sort of, um, you know, it, there's smoke, there's some rooms which you can't see, there's just bright lights, strobe lights, you know, really dense smoke uh, going through with a chainsaw at the end. And I have to say, you know, there's, a, there's out, mainly outdoors, but there's outdoors and indoor parts. Um, you just can't necessarily see where people are. And when you're by yourself, for anyone that's done Face It Alone, at various parks you all know that it instantly heightens kind of your senses and how you are and that was uh that was quite terrifying that i actually jumped a few times now for those that have uh, seen the episodes and seen our vlogs you know i don't jump very often and it was at tully's the last time i jumped in the colony um and this was the first time in a long time i've jumped in in two years the first time i've genuinely jumped at someone just appearing in front of me and they did just appear in front of me very very weird very weird and i have to say the acting throughout even in uh, the one we we didn't enjoy in kind of the shed absolutely fantastic they really are top notch the staff have been brilliant they really do interact with you they talk to you they got photographers here tonight so perhaps that might be the reason why they're putting the extra effort in but you know overall impression absolutely brilliant so squealers yard easily the favorite maze we've done so far this year this year we've got a lot more left to do but this year squealers yard massive thumbs up from us massive thumbs up for us proper terrifying we're now going to head back and probably do the hounds and then we've got the hotel left to do let's get it done Right, so that was the howl, and that is our night over. So, brief of the last two mazes that we did. We went through the hounds. Um, and it was very difficult, the hounds, because it's obviously gonna be about dogs, if you will, or kind of monster dogs. Um, the actual maze itself actually isn't that good. Um, the detail inside isn't very good. Um, the acting is superb, it is superb without, and the theming isn't really particularly any good. The little model dogs they have, which are bones and skeletons, they're a, uh, they look terrible. They really could look a lot better. And it's just mesh fences. Now, there's only so much they can do without putting actual dogs in there, which they're obviously not going to do. However, a strong finale saves the maze. I'm sure everyone's talking about it, that they've seen it online and they've seen it uh, on YouTube and things like that. I'm trying to think where I remember the park. And, and they've seen it and they it kind of, you know, knew what the ending was. Now, I didn't know what the ending was, so it was quite nice. It was quite a surprise. Uh, for those that have seen it, uh, it is amazing actually and uh, I did fall over getting out getting past it But as you pass kind of these wonderful things I have to say Tully seemed to like the wonderful buffers from either side as you squeeze through them at great pain to my leg Which is what it was again uh, This massive robotic dog comes flying at you and this thing would punch you in the face without a shadow of a doubt If you were standing there you would get knocked flat So I decided to just dive through straight on the floor, but I got out of the way straight on the floor got out of the way really strong finale really 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 good and then the final maze was the hotel now the hotel very creepy very very creepy but it you know it's easy to describe you're walking through effectively a derelict sort of hotel full of inmates i would probably describe them as inmates kind of your asylum type you know you've got lounges you've got kitchens you've got bathrooms you've got everything you walk through looks fantastic looks really 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 good in it and again acting brilliant they'll come from behind you they'll come around they'll do bits and pieces um but had no finale, which was a real shame. No finale whatsoever. Uh, so yeah, it was a real stark sort of contrast, the pair of them. Um, you had the Hounds with a really strong finale, but not a lot else going on. And then you had the Hotel, which was really strong, really creepy sounds, great music, and then no finale. So a bit disappointed on that. But generally, five mazes, really, really good quality. The one we said, uh, which is the... Uh, the <laughs> I forgot which one it is now. I'm gonna to have to have a look. It's been a long evening. Let me get my little thing out. 
Oh yes, the yard. The yard. The yard, without a doubt, was the most terrifying maze. I tell you, it's a, it, this is the most frightened I've, I say frightened, this is the scariest I've felt in a long, long time since uh, since going to scare parts. Not for years have we actually felt a little bit frightened when going through. That was it, that was it, the yard, Squealer's Yard, brilliant, top notch, so far, favorite maze of the year. Big thumbs up, big thumbs up to Tully's The Howl. It's been a great event, it's the first time we've achieved uh, getting up here and it's the first time we've got in and believe me we will be coming again highly recommended it's early on it's only opening night tonight so if you have a chance and you're around this area check it out check it out go online get involved get here enjoy it enjoy the evening some great entertainment some great music some great actors they really really interact with you which is the first time we've ever seen this really is so massive thumbs up thank you very much guys we'll see you on our next vlog